Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to the vlog. So we're gonna do a day in the life vlog today. I actually took this week mainly off of vlogging. It's just been a crazy week and obviously you're a week ahead so you already know the outcome but I just felt like this was a good week to kind of take a little bit of a break and we had a lot of stuff going on at work so I just kind of threw my focus into that and took a little breather for vlogging. But I'm gonna take you along for a day today. Today is Friday for us, so we are winding down our week. Um, I have some work things to do today and some kind of special things to do that, but I also had to take Natalie over to the school this morning. She's doing a kind of gate assessment, which is kind of their like extra activities program. So she's doing that this morning and getting, you know, whatever she needs to get a place for that. And um, I'm getting ready to go pick her up. And then I've got some work meetings, but then after that, I'm gonna go to Target this afternoon. I thought I might go look at some holiday goodies at Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby this afternoon. So I thought it'd be a fun vlog later on today. This mainly worked this morning, but more fun coming this afternoon. So welcome to the vlog. Hope you all are hanging in there. <laughs> It's absolutely crazy times, but um, I think we're, you know, at least moving forward. Um, but unfortunately, oh gosh, the COVID thing is above and beyond, like you all know everything that's gone on the past week, but um, above and beyond that, like the COVID numbers just keep going up and up and up in the background. And that's an issue for work. And it's an issue obviously for us trying to decide what to do with these kids for this next semester and unfortunately time is starting to run out when we need to make our decisions. So we're still really on the fence with that and probably in the next week or so you'll probably hear me talk more in a vlog about what we decide to do for the next semester. I feel very stuck because whatever we decide now, we're stuck with it from January through May and so then that's the rest of the year. So we'll see. But yeah, anyhow, what a, what a week. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, that is that. Um, but I'm gonna go pick up Natalie. We're gonna do some things around the house today and we'll take you along for a little bit of holiday shopping this afternoon. Okay, we are heading back home. What do you think you're gonna write your story about? Still deciding. Still deciding, okay. Penguin is happy to see us. We're gonna get her a snack and then she can start on her schoolwork. Okay, so it's back to work. Natalie's gonna work on her work over there. Isabella is on a class. Oh, you're doing a reading test, sorry. And I gotta go do work in my office. So this weekend, we are also gonna be taking down all of the Halloween decorations and getting those taken down and switched out too. So I will vlog that when we do that. I have a real problem this year because this year is very awkward with getting Christmas gifts and birthday gifts. And for Natalie's birthday that's coming up, she pretty much knows what she's getting because she wanted a bigger screen fire. We gave her the option between that and Nintendo Switch. She actually ended up deciding to get the larger fire because she likes watching videos on there a lot and movies and Disney Plus and all of that. So she knows that that's been ordered and we got a few surprise things. But it's really hard to one, we've talked about this before, do any sort of videos with gifts and things like that in them because in my office now, there is glass doors and now everyone is home all the time. So it's gonna be very interesting trying to figure out how to do gift guide videos, which I have some more coming up and I'm starting to get Christmas gifts in, which I will give you a little sneak peek and kind of show you some of the things that I got them. But it's gonna be interesting to figure this out this year. You may get a couple gift guide videos of me just sitting in the floor of my closet and talking to you about what the kids want for Christmas. We made us do it that way also, instead of showing you what they're getting, like talk about what's on their wish list. I don't know, I'm still figuring it out. So it's a definitely an interesting anomaly. So this box from Land's Inn, it's all kids stuff, actually just got here. And I really like Land's Inn clothing, it holds up really well. And they had a ton of cute stuff, and so I'm actually, I think, planning on giving them a number of these things just as like an extra fun thing for Christmas, I may give some of them early, but they were needing new cozy pajamas, so I got this one for Natalie. It's a, like a cozy tie-dye set. I got this one for Isabella, and it's supposed to glow in the dark. I got these two matching hoodies and this really cute leopard print, so they're both going to get one of those. And then I got these narwhal pajamas for Natalie. So I just think narwhals are really cute to so stay cool. And it has narwhals on the bottom. 
And then I think these, this heart leopard print is for Isabella. And these are like just cozy fleece. So I got these just to either give them to them or put some of them back for Christmas. But this is the first box of what I'm sure will be many arriving. And I've got to figure out where I'm going to hide everything. How I'm going to hide everything. <laughs> With everyone being home all the time. It's like even opening it up like this. A kid could come up to my office window and see everything behind me. So it should be interesting this year. But anyhow, this is one of my first holiday hauls um slash the kids just needed some new pajamas i like giving pajamas for christmas dan's not a fan of giving practical things <laughs> for gifts um we're getting them a tv for the playroom upstairs and i'm like well we could just get him a tv for christmas and he's like no that's not a good gift it's too practical like he likes getting like toys or art sets or whatever like something i don't know not i guess practical like pajamas but my plan is to give some of these as a gift just for fun. Our cart looks like a teeping pool, but we were out of dog biscuits and paper towels and a whole bunch of stuff, so we got all of that today. Yeah. We're gonna go check out some of the home stuff and Christmas stuff and probably toys and then head out. They've got all of their <laughs> Christmas When you medicine. first started filming, <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> I know, I accidentally left my camera at home. This one is cute. It says merry and bright. Let it snow. Be merry. They got a buffalo check one. Mm -hmm. This one's got a house on it. Hey, home sweet home. And snowflakes. Which one do you like, Natalie? I like the snowflakes. You like snowflakes? We live somewhere where it never snows. Actually, home sweet home. It's got snow on it too. Here, let me see. Here, put it down. Let's see what it looks like. Just because it doesn't snow doesn't mean we can't get stuff that has snow on it. I was kind of thinking for the kitchen. What do you think about... Oh, yeah, that would be perfect for the kitchen. We do need a mat for penguin parking. Do you like that one for the kitchen? All right, well, I guess we're getting that one. <laughs> we're headed to go look at pajamas, but they've started getting all the throw blankets and all of the different bath items, and there's some more mats for the bathroom there, too. We are headed to go look at pajamas. Here is winter pajamas. It'll come on sale. Are you sure? It hasn't been on sale for a while. I'm sure. Natalie loves those pants on her birthday wish list. I think it's a three. I'm just going to use this as my one thing. <laughs> What do we think this is? This is a nightgown? Is it a dress? I think it's a dress. You think it's a dress? With the hoodie. <laughs> it is really super cute. It's kind of over by the pajamas. But honestly, if you put leggings with it, I mean, you're virtual learning, so probably could be either. Mm -hmm. Here, let's see. What does it look like? It's really cute. I think... You're going to use it as a dress? Yeah. Depending on how it looks. All right. It looks pretty big. Style it up, girl. Well, that turned into a whirlwind trip to Target. Penguin knows that there's stuff in there for him. He's trying to find the biscuits. Um, and we are now back. It is definitely dinner time. So I'm preheating the oven and we're going to have our pizza. But I'll do a quick haul here and share what we got at Target. That one's not for you, bud. So we are going to have this ham and pineapple freshetta pizza. Natalie picked this one out. And everyone likes this and I am going to work on getting the rest of the stuff put away and I'll kind of do a target haul as we go along here. I've got some stuff out over here. I got another thing of coffee. I had to pick that up because it was almost out. I've got some Corbel for this weekend. We got some toilet cleaning things. We were completely out of paper towels and Costco has been out every single time I've been there the past couple times so I had to get some at Target. We also got an Sardi over here in the drink cooler. Um, we got a couple of things of white cloths i picked those up too i got the mango flavor and the black cherry we like both of those and then let's see we got all kinds of random stuff natalie got pajamas they had two sets of frozen pajamas one with frozen to elsa on it and the other one has frozen to anna on it and they also had a really cute um rapunzel an Ariel set that she's putting on her Christmas wish list. 
So they are like really running low on pajamas. They're both like jumping clothing sizes right now. So pajamas are a big need. So I'm going to wash those so she can probably wear the Elsa ones tonight. Let's see. I don't think I showed any of this yet. French onions. Penguin. Yes, that's for you, but hold on. Um, croutons. Nutella, but kids like that. Some honest kids juice. Penguin's over here trying to get into this one because it has... Um, ever spring wipes, which I'm sure he's not as concerned about that, but that is the lemon and mint scent that I really like, but also has oinkies and two different flavors. He likes both of those. So that's what he's down here all <laughs> concerned about. And then we also got some of these pretzel crisp. The kids and everyone likes this buffalo wing flavor. Some honeycomb. Some more Honest Kids juice. Um, some Greek yogurt for my husband in the strawberry because they were out of this when we um, got our Target, or no, not Target, our Walmart run, so he needed that. Hang on, what else are you trying to get the into? Another thing that he smells down here, I got two things of Buddy Biscuits. We get him the bacon and cheese flavor, which he obviously likes, and it is grain free. Kids got blueberry Cheetos. Cheetos, gosh, it is getting late. Cheerios. You're very distracting right now, Penguin. Do you want a biscuit so you'll go on? Here, let's give you a biscuit so I can finish I the sit. Hole. Stay. <laughs> Stay. Take. Good boy. Obviously, he likes those. So, <laughs> let's see what else did we get. Natalie requested some Lunchables. She said, even though I'm eating lunch at home, I kind of miss eating Lunchables, so can I get some? I said, sure. So she got some of these bologna and American cheese and nacho cheese. She also really likes these Morning Star sausage links. And Walmart has been out of that on the past couple grocery trips, so she asked if we could get those at Target. Let's see what's in here. Obviously, there, there's bread. Natalie also got some Pringles. I kind of went in anticipating I'd spend like around $100 and ended up spending like $200, but. That's how it goes when you're at Target. It's always an adventure to see what you're going to come out with. Um, so I got some sliced pepperoncinis. This is like salad stuff. Oh, I got some sprinkles. Somewhere around here there is some stuff for cupcakes for Natalie's birthday because it's coming up. And also some sliced banana peppers. And then the sprinkles, we got green. She picked out green. We got some stuff at, oops, something breakable at Marshall's. <laughs> I'll show that in a minute. I got this mango hibiscus. I love hibiscus flavor. And I happened to see this at Target in this Too Good stuff. I really like this. Um, this one's for Natalie. She picked out a blueberry yogurt. But I love this. I love hibiscus flavor. So I want to see if I like this yogurt or not. Nutella and Natalie already ate one of those because she was hungry. And here is frosting. She picked out space blue vanilla frosting. I told her I'd make her some cupcakes on her birthday. Her sister and her are both like cupcake. Gosh, I cannot talk. Guys, this is what happens when you get tired. Like the words all start running together. I'm getting her sister likes ice cream cakes. And Natalie said that she wanted ice cream cake too. But I told her I'd make cupcakes the week of her birthday also. So we got these to make cupcakes with them. And then, last but not least, we ran into Marshalls and we got these really cute, I love these little mini pop mitts. They just fit your hand really, really well. So I've started using these and they have these Disney ones, sometimes at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. So I got these Mickey ones and I have these for the fall already and I have these just regular Minnie Mouse ones. So I thought that these would be cute for the holidays pick those up and let's see what else did we get we got some I think I'm good on tea towels after this I got these because it's little houses with gingerbreads up there and I do gingerbread through a bit a bunch of parts in my house we also stop at Kirkland's but I left all that stuff out in the um, garage so I'll just share that whenever we're doing our decorating vlogs coming up this weekend oh sprinkles I make the kids pancakes a lot on the weekends, and I like putting the sprinkles that I get at the TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods places in there. They just work really well. They don't melt or anything like that. So I picked up these holly leaves, and I'll use those for baking. 
during the holidays. And then I also found, I love the wood books that I found. These are not Ray Dunn, but I thought that these were very cute. These Merry Christmas wood faux books. So a little bit of pre-holiday shopping. Not too much though, because I need to get everything out and kind of see what we need to get. So the oven just dinged. I'm gonna get the pizza in the oven and get all this stuff put away so we can have dinner. Okay, so this is the Canadian bacon and pineapple pizza and we are gonna have this for dinner real quick and probably watch a show on Disney Plus. This is what my pajamas look like. Yeah, there's your Anna pajamas. I decided I was gonna wear Anna since it was new and exciting. The exact reason I am, I decided I was gonna buy these. Well, those definitely look like they fit a lot better. Congratulations, mommy. You had your camera. Yeah, yeah I forgot my camera when we went to Target. Now she's actually kind of using her camera. It was funny because when she used her phone for filming, I thought she was talking to me and using her phone. <laughs> when I'm filming with my phone, I'm just talking to everyone. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed following along today. This weekend I'm planning on starting to switch out the decorations, so I will take you along for that. And we will see you in more vlogs coming up very soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.